Hello everybody, it's Whiskey11 and welcome back to the Gaming Lounge. And in this episode, episode number 11 of Silent Hunter 4, we are once again going to take the USS Skipjack out and see what fun and awesome things she has in store for us. What I am going to do before we take off, I am going to save and I will reload just uh, for no other purpose than... Uh, making sure that we're not missing anything. Sometimes the game doesn't, uh, up, different upgrades don't happen for whatever reason. Um, just real dumb reasons why things occur the way they often do occur. So we're good there, so let's see what fun and interesting things we are tasked to do. It looks like we are going to either photo recon or drop off some commandos near Manila. 27 tons of vital supplies, okay, so we're dropping supplies off. Needed by friendly troops in the Philippines. Okay. <clears throat> Whew. That is a long, 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 long trek for even this boat. That's all right, though. We will do our part. The question is, is which direction? How do we want to get there? Um... I think what we'll do is we'll come full flank to the Solomons here and do our best to we'll we'll rearm refuel as we pass by here and then we'll come up and we will go via the Bismarck Sea. I think it's going to end up being a lot better for us to do go that way. Uh, maybe we'll get excited and, and if we have fuel we'll go over here. Um, looks like really I don't know what atoll that is, but uh, it's an interesting one. It's interesting because I said it's interesting, and it is interesting because I said it's interesting. I don't know what atoll that is. And this is a long effing trek. We are going to have to be absolutely judicious using fuel on this this uh on this cruise because uh six thousand and we're going to burn forty four hundred yes, just by uh yes, sir. yeah that's better although we are refueling over here so i don't know why i'm yes, worried about it We'll just burn a head flank, and I think uh, we've got plenty of fuel to get there at, at our current range to get to here. So we will. Onward and upward, as they say. I was actually legitimately surprised after that last patrol, you know, 100 and whatever the heck it was, 60,000 tons, um, or 130,000 tons. That. So we we got the Medal of Honor, which woo! It'd be nice if we would have also have gotten a uh, you know new boat. Free armory fuel. Okay, so while while we're while we're kind of cruising past this, what I'll do is I will um, do some research here and see when the various. Um, various ship upgrades when we would get promoted you know into like a gato class or something like that um i'm sure there's a text file for it somewhere i just don't feel like digging through it while i'm actually live streaming fleet boat ship upgrade schedule Okay. Don't care about SD radar. What I care about. Wow. Okay. Twenty millimeter 
gun or dual 20 millimeters late war conning tower cut down conning tower with an additional four AA gun mount capable of mounting 20 millimeter AA guns as became available at the end of 1942 was most used for the remainder of the war or most of the salmon class okay that's great it would be nice to know when the various ships come in who knows maybe we'll get surprised when we come back in and maybe we will uh, we will get upgraded to a new scrub marine on the end of this patrol radar contact as in ship or as an aircraft that's a ship we'll go see what's up Single contact. Bearing. that's cool three one five that's the ship it's it's emanating smoke so that means it's uh, something that is a little bit more valuable than like a sampan or something, thankfully. There it is. Mm. Nah. That's a hard pass. We're going to end up running into some... Oh, hello. We're going to end up running into some far, 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 far larger ships than that. Task Force. There's a lot of Task Force moving into Rabool. Rabal. Rabal? Rabal? Rabal. Rabool? Rabal. I don't know. I'm going to play the dumb, ignorant American card. <laughs> Huge convoy. Another convoy, which we are going to miss. Which we were supposed to miss. Well, that's a small convoy. Single contact. Bearing. Eight. Long range. Sampan? Sampan? Hmm. Don't know. We will send out our scout plane to go see because I like knowing what's out there. Said radar contact zero eight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know what this is? Juicy. All right. I want the small convoy, not this shenaniganry. Single contact. Bearing. Bring me straight yes, west. Long range. Single contact. Bearing. One, three. Long range. Yes, Single contact. Yes, sir. Zero, four, zero. Oh, you have beautiful lady. Okay. Uh, just as an estimate. That, my good friends, is one of these uh, big jobbers. Whom might I add is worth every attempt to sink her that we can possibly get. Whoa. Hmm. 
Well, at least she's uh, moving along at a fairly reasonable pace. Two minutes. Three minutes. Okay, let's measure it out. Looks like 12 knots. Once again, measuring at these ranges can be a wee bit difficult. Um, mostly because I don't know... Like, you can just barely see parts of the uh, the conning towers and all that. So, uh, our angle is off as well. It was off the wrong way. I could actually measure this and it'd be a lot more precise. But... Uh, I'm inherently lazy when it comes to doing these kinds of things. There we go. That's pretty spot on. Now we just need to get that range measurement down. Too short. Too far. too far I don't know why it why it seems to think that perfect like um, almost dead on perfect actually okay so we are roughly a degree off how far away are we far enough that uh, we are going to have to launch a full spread of these guys. 28 feet. Let's bring this down to 20 on all of these. You can see I'm intentionally delaying it. We're just... You know what? F it. And this is where we get to do a lot of praying, <laughs> especially since I didn't save before this. <laughs> ah, it's okay. I'm fairly confident in our shooting solution. We have the shooting solution. I'm also fairly confident in my crew to, um, you know, not be a potato. So. <laughs> I would like to thank the Academy. I have a feeling we're going to lose two more freaking torpedoes before this happens. We're going to hit him with one. It's going to hit him like at the very, very tip of the ship and do no damage, not slow him down at all. And uh, it'll be a bad day for all of us. It's really annoying when that happens. That's a re There's a reason why on these higher valuable targets we can launch as many of these things as we can and at these ranges i should have disabled the contact detonator and that's my bad i i fucked that up Ooh, contact. hello Closing. nurse Firing. three six long range not fast enough contact Warship. Oh. moving away bearing two five Long range. We're going to get two for sure. The third is the question. Oh, no. Yes! <laughs> she sunk. <laughs> oh, not only is she sunk, she is out of here. <laughs> ha. 
So we 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 put two very very good torpedo hits in the middle of the ship, and one at the very dead stern blew off the rudder, blew off a full screw, and ceased the second screw. I think this one's going down, which is a good thing for us. And had that one torpedo not been off, we probably would have gotten four solid torpedo hits. I can't complain too much. I will take my three torpedo hits out of four launched with these stupid freaking torpedoes any day of the week. The real turd in this punch bull, though, is, uh... Yes, sir. Can we get away from everything else? I'm yes, sure we can. Like, I'm not worried about this dude at all. He ain't going anywhere. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's done for. Question is, is how will he sink? I, I wish. I wish, I wish, I wish. Oh, he's listing. He's listing awfully something fierce. Nani. Yes, sir. New deck. Two, four, three. Yes, sir. Rig for silent running. Eventually, these guys all, they will just kind of shake and bake out of here. Um, they'll just, they'll just disappear when they realize that they can't save it. Try and turn all you want, Mr. Screw. You're screwed. He definitely will not be uh, going anywhere. He will need a tugboat, if anything. It's like I said, uh, not having a the capability of steering makes it very difficult to uh, safely navigate the open waters. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> you know what'd be really, really sad is if they, they scuttled ships. Like if the Japanese Navy would scuttle ships in this game and they just randomly decide to haul off and, and torpedo this thing. I would be so pissed if it denied me of my, my kill. I'd be like, you have to be kidding me right now. <laughs> like, it's mine. Hmm. <laughs> She's a bit of a resilient little girl, isn't she? Little gal. I've seen one torpedo actually take one of these things out before. Bearing three, four, three, yeah, he's four, he's not coming towards us. It'll be fine. I just want I just want the I want the ship. I, I just want it. And he's far enough away. Yes, I think I think we'll be fine. Yes, sir. So this is a matter of watching our port holes here to see if uh, see how much damage she's uh, taken, how much she's sinking. Ready, sir. I don't know that she is, so that makes me a wee bit nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Um, we go up to periscope depth. How far of a range are we looking at? 6,500 yards. Um, I don't know. See, the problem is, is I can't tell if she's sinking or if she is actually going to recover from this. And because she does have one screw that, you know, on the one side, it's, it's a bit tough to really say. Um... I mean, it's it sounds like they're trying to get engines a working, but she's just not she's just not sitting very low in the water. It'd be nice to put another one somewhere up front. Yes, sir. Periscope depth. I'm getting robbed of the of the other torpedo hit is 
infuriating. All right. So we get an accurate. Pretty sure she's maybe one not. Wow, we're not even getting. We're getting uh, even worse profile. Oops. Shallow that up just a hint. Oh, yeah, that's way, way, way too fast. Maybe a quarter knot. Well, Torpedo I'm willing to give that a shot. <laughs> Both in the literal sense and the figurative sense. Yes, sir. New deck. Two, four, five. That guy is awfully close now, though. Yes, sir. I think we're going to go ahead and... Um, I think we're going to go ahead and... Uh, what are yes, you sir. Doing? Dive the boat. Two, four, five. Well, we are either going to hit or we're going to clip the tail end again. Current depth eight zero. Yeah. I'm all right with it. More holes in the boat. That's all that matters. Just need more water to go in. Less of it to come out. We also need it to detonate. The torpedo, that is. Although detonating the ship probably wouldn't hurt either. <laughs> nope, we're going to send it right where the other ones were at. <laughs> And that might have set her over the edge. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Starting to see some... Already after that one torpedo, we're starting to see the water. Maybe it's just, you know, settling weird, but... Uh, I think we're going to start seeing her, her go under all the way now. Definitely got a lot more black smoke coming from her. All good signs. All good signs. Again, 18,000 tons just sitting here. Just beautiful. Sink, baby, sink. Comrade, I just need you to just go underwater. It'll be okay. Yeah, she's starting to take water in. Hitting that same place again certainly didn't help much. But, uh... Yes, sir. Current speed zero. New course two one five. It's always a gamble, always a risk, always something amiss. 
So we've managed to put another roll of row of portholes underwater. You are. Straight ahead. Almost missed him. Yeah, we're starting to creep up on that next row of portholes, too. This thing is surprisingly... I mean, granted, we've hit it three times in effectively the same spot um she is she has taken on more water now like to the point where i don't know that she's gonna recover because oh no she ain't recovering Bearing three, five, nine, one. <clears throat> yeah she i don't think she's gonna recover one, we're getting the death sounds, which means she's far enough underwater that, you know, she's actually making noise again. Uh, that's not her machinery space is trying to pump out water as fast as it can, but you can see we're starting to see the water level get closer and closer to the decks here. We have a deck that's underwater already. I mean, we got a lot of decks that are underwater, but uh, this deck here is about to be under rather permanently. She's a tough, 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 tough ship. Would not surprise me if this is just her, you know, kind of where she stops. <laughs> Looks like the front of the boat is uh, sinking at... Uh, kind of faster, actually, a little bit. Yeah, that 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 is now fully underwater full-time. Definitely makes you wonder, like, uh, what, uh, what, uh, you know, strengths and weaknesses different ships have with regards to their ship construction. Uh, you know, how, how resilient they are to torpedoes. I, I've sunk in these things with two torpedoes, one in the front and one in the back. I've sunk in them with three, apparently now four. I've sunk in them with one. I had one lucky one that passed right underneath the keel in the center detonated whatever it was that was powering it i believe coal and that was all she freaking wrote um yeah starting to get the next deck up submerged just just succumb bearing two four long range he ain't gonna find us Got the best crew in the Navy. Although I don't know that we're sailing the seven seas, but uh, I can see it. Yeah. Just like that, the back end is now taking on a lot more water. Ba boom! And she slips beneath the waves. In what I can only describe as the single most glorious. Okay, we can uh, refrain from battle stations and uh, continue on our journey. That was a good sink. 18,000 tons. Just bloop. Task force. That'd be kind of interesting to have it catch us. <laughs> be like, hey, wait, 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 what? What? 
Wait a minute. There's that convoy, or a convoy, I guess I should say. Task force. I can't wait to get the uh, closer refueling sub base tender thing. Radar contacts. 206. Long range. Single contact. It's aircraft. Bearing. One, eight, nine. More aircraft. Ooh, crap. No. Yes, sir. All right, boys, take her down. Yes, Crash. Dive, dive. To see how quickly she dives here. Does not take much for her to go Dex Awash. So there's Dex Awash. And then uh, down we'll go. <laughs> and just like that, four, zero. Yes, yes, sir. a lot harder Five, to see. One, Although not impossible, because as you can see, Current set. fairly obvious. Continuing on, God, man, that's that would have been tempting too. <clears throat> Task force, we may end up actually getting involved with that, depending on how quickly. Fox traffic received. Merry Christmas from Comsub Pack. Somebody put a torpedo in Toho's boat so we can all go home. Tojo's boat, not Toho. I would like to, but uh, I'm pretty sure he never actually left the mainland. Oh, man, look at how close we were to that task force. Is it ship? Is it aircraft? Ooh. Nah, it's like a little oiler. Normally, I'd be all tonnage is tonnage is tonnage. Let's get some tonnage, but uh, there's just one small thing, and that's that uh, we don't have a whole lot of torpedoes. And this dude, I'm fairly certain, is, is this guy or this guy. Probably this dude. So I'm just going to, we're just going to... Steer clear so that we don't get reported and then just continue on. He's not worth he's not worth us wasting a torpedo on him. Zero zero what radar contact? What is this? A fucking Single convoy. Bearing three seven long range. In this weather. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, comrade. Hmm. It's a true convoy. Our fleet intelligence reports a couple of larger ships, but uh, not looking at too many, uh, not looking at too many super high tonnage shipping. I think what we will do is I think we will just. Uh, yes, sir. New deck. Two, four, yes, sir. One. <laughs> we'll just. Rig for silent and God 
Oh, they're going right over top of us. We're going to end up getting in depth charged because because uh, <laughs> we're not going to be able to get out away from this thing fast enough. <laughs> Just watch. Here it is. No. All right. Well, we escaped. Uh, we escaped to essentially be in the middle of this fucking convoy. Like, <laughs> pop up, dump four torpedoes into these two ships and go. Or we could just keep going so that we don't die. It's not very adventurous, I know. But, uh... There's times to be adventurous, and there are times to cut your losses and just carry on with the mission until you can uh, get back, get rearmed, and get into a comfortable patrol area, because uh, we are so far from home right now. All right. <clears throat> So really what needs to happen here is we need to move this marker to here. We need another marker here. These missions can be kind of, kind of neat. Um, Cause I know for a fact we're close enough. But I just forget. Supply drop in the Philippines. I forget if there's a button that we gotta push or if it just pops up. Yep, there we go. And this is going to make a shit ton of noise. So I'm just going to... Like, if he bumps into us, it's going to make a yes, metric frack ton of noise. Yeah, there it is. Fear not. Nobody's being damaged or sunk. Or anything of the like. The game is just goofy as hell. And these dudes are uh, bobbing and weaving. Alright, so we've accomplished our mission here. We need to get back and get resupplied. Well, we need to go somewhere to get resupplied. And our closest option is back the way we came. That would be a fine path if it wasn't for that stupid island in the way. So we are going to rush back to the Solomons. <clears throat> to this subtender here and then we'll go play in the Bismarck Sea. <clears throat> Once we get back in the Bismarck Sea, maybe we'll request another another mission of sorts. 
So I think we should be fine on uh, fuel. We, we burned less than half getting here at our speed. 2-7. Single contact. Bearing. 2-7-2. Two, two. Long range. All right. Send out the scout plane. Here we go. You never know what you're going to run into out here. Sometimes you'll loan into lone warships, like major lone warships, like carriers just kind of out in the middle of nowhere doing God knows what. The truth of the matter is, whatever it is that uh, is out this way, be nice to find him and figure out what he is. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Well, continue on here and Hello. Single contact. Bearing. Two, five, two, long range. So he's actually a little behind us. Not quite dead. This would be nice if we could find another small convoy uh, with uh, another European style um, cruise ship in it. Another 18,000 tons would be amazing. Alright, we got a destroyer. Pretty curious convoy he's got here. Ah, that's the trailer. What are we protecting? Protecting a 9,000-ish ton um, I mean, yeah, if we can I just don't want to burn too much fuel trying to get in front of this guy Okay, let's bring her up to five zero feet. Let's cycle this guy back till we get to the correct large old European passenger line or let's uh, preset our torpedoes to not be influence because influence right now not a good thing. Okay, that's gonna be the destroyer. I need I think the ship sees escorting. There we go. Third minute. Okay. 
Well, I'm gonna guess nine. No. Twelve knots. Destroyer, where she be? Twelve knots. Get the range set. Get our... Keep going! Range not far off. This guy was, though. Okay, so let's continue to refine our firing solution till we get the desirable ranges. Dealing with waves is so annoying. You would think with how many times I've consistently gotten this wrong <laughs> that it would be something that uh, I would have down pat by now. That's at least... Uh... Perfect. Tweak this guy again. It doesn't feel like that's the right direction to go with that. Apparently it was. Although... Cool! So we can... What's the what's the draft on this thing 28 feet so once again we're gonna send them at 20 goal is to be effectively gone by the time they figure out what the hell is going on. Hmm. 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 This is going to be juicy. So even if he survives, we, we are like the, we are, I'm going to start calling this ship the rudder sniper. <laughs> uh, that's the, uh, that's like what, the seventh ship that we've completely decimated the rudder on? Like, just poof, gone. We got, we got four hits. Well, we got robbed by a Mark 14, which... Not terribly surprising. Oh, we are almost out of torpedoes. Up front, anyway. Not something I particularly care for. Ooh, something exploded. Probably the torpedo. 
the one that dudded off the side of it. Yes, sir. You're dead. Two, four, three. Hmm. <laughs> I love how the, the game's in-game smoke engine is just... Also, for those who want to know what ray tracing is... This ship is not rendered in this game engine if you go too far. And thus, uh, you know, all this stuff happens. Ray tracing is... This would still be rendered, and so would the effects of this. Including if we were to look and obscure the ship with this ship in its entirety. Um, this is not ray traced, but uh, the game believes, because it treats this as a non-solid object, it believes that um, that it can see that ship. But anyway... And Oof. No more environmental pollution. Pollution? No pollution. Pollution? No pollution. Frankly, um, you know, ooh, yeah, there's definitely a fire in this. You can see the brief reflection of it in the, uh, in the water. It's also really hard to believe that this is a water and water rendering engine from uh, from this era. Crap! He's not pinging. That's a good sign. Goodbye. Don't mind me while while whilst I finish off my prey. I mean, he's definitely not going anywhere with the amount of damage that he had. This dude would have to tow his sorry butt. <laughs> Say now sink, baby, sink. That destroyer seems to be hanging around an awfully long time for a ship that is effectively dead in the water. So what I think we're going to do is I think we're going to kind of turn a wee bit and then maybe by the time we get around we can we can take a stern shot at him to kind of finish him off. Um, that destroyer on the other side of him is really annoying. It's going to be really hard to predict what he's going to do. And I'm not entirely sure that this is at, that like actually putting another torpedo in is necessary. But uh it would certainly expedite his his trip to the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. He gone. Don't even need it. 
Good night, sweet prince. May you rest at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean while I quickly return, hopefully soonish, to <laughs> to rearm and refuel because, oh my goodness, that was a ridiculous mission to send us all the way up there. Um, may force us to crawl around on two, you know, ahead two thirds. Okay, so, you know, 27,000 tons. We got really good, good, we're getting really good with the torpedo hits, of course. Again, having the tails on the, uh, the ship markers really makes a huge deal too. Uh, it just it just allows you to do, get away with so much more. The question is 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 that destroyer anywhere nearby? I don't know. Yes, sir. Periscope Let's come depth. come up to periscope depth, and I guess we'll find out if he's gone. Which I'm thinking he is. We will end it there. Not seeing him. All right, let's uh, we'll we'll return to course. Um, we are gonna head back to here and go from uh, go from there. We're we're gonna go ahead and call it though for this let's play. I I'm hoping that you guys are really enjoying this series you know after the Guadalcanal it's going to be kind of hard to get a high for a while and get that adrenaline rush going unless we specifically set out to go after some task forces um, we've not had good luck finding task forces but I think if we get back to the Bismarck Sea I think we should be good to actually hit up a whole bunch of them eventually we're going to get our subtender down here somewhere and when we get it that's when the fun's really going to start, because then we can start hitting up the South China Sea. And there's a bunch of task forces that run there. Um, we may take a trip back to truck just to see if anything has showed up there, but I guess it probably hasn't. Anyway, I'm Whiskey11, signing us out of the gaming lounge. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching. <laughs>